Australia is a step closer to having its own space agency after the federal government ordered a review of the nation's space capabilities. Scientists and the federal opposition say the case for one is clear, arguing it'll help Australia tap further into the multi-billion dollar space industry. Here's political reporter Jane Norman. On the other side of the globe, Australia's being launched back into space. Zero and lift off. Known as the CubeSat, it's the first locally made satellite in 15 years. The space revolution is the next industrial revolution. But Australia's been slow to get on board and risks missing out on an industry that's worth more than $400 billion. We are talking about an industry which uh, in Australia at the moment in various ways employs nine to 11,000 people. Um, so there's plenty of scope for it to grow. To help map out a path, the federal government's launched a review into the nation's space capabilities, looking specifically at whether Australia should establish a standalone space agency. This is a case where the government has yet to set up yet another committee when in fact they should have been making a decision. Even New Zealand has a space agency. In fact, Australia is one of the only wealthy developed nations without one. A good example is the UK Space Agency. It brings, um, I think, a net GDP increase of £5 billion to the UK economy. When you think of Australia's space program, most people would picture the DISH or NASA's communications facility here at Tippenbilla. Australia has traditionally played a passive role in space activities and as a result, it relies heavily on other countries to launch satellites and provide data for things like navigation and weather forecasting. Australia is one of the most uh, prolific users of space technology. So we're definitely you know, freeloading off every other country. There are important strategic considerations too. Last year's Defence White Paper warned of new and complex security threats in space as countries like China increase their capabilities. I really want to nail this, get a coordinated, cohesive view and create a national strategy which puts us at the forefront of, forefront of space science and technology. And rejoin the global space race. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.